Okay, I'm trying this again. I made the video the first time, went back and started listening and realized I left some things out. So let me do this again because it's that important. And I was hesitating to make this because it's so real and so jolting to me. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, um, my stepfather is a doctor. Okay. I think you can get some idea on prior videos that I question things a lot, okay? And the fact is, is that we can debate how this virus got started. That's definitely up for debate, but now I know for a 100% fact that it's here, okay? And it's real. And the reason I know that is because tonight I mentioned the virus to him, and this is all in person, not by phone. And he looked at me and he said, it's already here. And I said, well, yeah, we have 103 cases in this state. And he goes, no, I mean, it's here. It's, it's out here. It's, we have two in the hospital. Well, those two in the hospital are not even reported, and they've been there since Friday. And they change those things twice a day as far as the numbers. And that parish is not listed. But he didn't just mean in the hospital. He meant it's here. Now, from a scientific and a doctor's perspective, um, I mentioned something about quarantining, you know, being on lockdown for 30 days. He, in his mind, it's going to do absolutely no good. And I said, well, touching things and going from person to person or what. He goes, we still don't understand viruses as much as they say they do. So that's what he said. Now you can, I didn't further question him on that. Um, I'll question him more when I can. Uh, he's in his late 70s. He's considering retiring this year. He's been practicing for over 50 years. He is a phenomenal doctor. Because of him, my son has a normal life. Um, you know, he has his downfalls just like anybody. But uh, being a doctor is not one of them. He's excellent. I worry that when he retires, he won't be long for this world because it's so much a part of him. I, and I think he's retiring because he's tired and he's getting older and he's had one hip replaced and he's he looks great for his age. He really does, but I think it's just wearing on him physically, but mentally he really doesn't want to retire. I know that. He loves it so much. So, please say a prayer for him, because he's putting himself at risk, being in that environment, at a huge risk. He has, you know, no other really medical huge problems except for age, but um, that's a huge disadvantage with this virus, according to him. And anyone who is autoimmune compromised. Um, he said, uh, I asked him the difference between the flu and this, you know, the more common flus in this virus. And he said, it is 10 times more deadly. They find it more aggressive. Um, and that... You know, if 10% of the people have problems with it, you know, that's 300,000 Americans. That's going to overload the system. He said, and of those 10%, 2 to 6% will die, in his opinion. And uh, one is too many. But it's reality. So... 
you know, if anybody needs any extra help, please help them. If you have anything to spare, even your two hands sometimes could help. Um, and maybe through all this we'll find out what's really important. Hopefully. Because some of these people need to wake up. Um, 30 day lockdown is coming probably by the end, middle of the week, maybe by the end of the week, for sure. My hours are being limited. I am going to work. They even changed them to even smaller amount of hours today. So first schools, second jobs. Financially, this is going to hit. It's going to hit hard. We're going to have to learn how to make do for a while. Ask the older generation. They can tell you what making do is and how to do it for a lot of things and um, now him telling me he doesn't understand why they're going into a, a lockdown situation because he doesn't think it can't can be controlled like that I mean it concerns me I mean um, maybe it's just pure desperation maybe it's for other ulterior motives leading to something else so, that's another subject of deba debate. That's the future. But as Americans, we have to stand up when all this is over. Stand back up on our own two feet. Pull our big boy britches on. And say, this is the way it's going to be. However that is. And not let them take full advantage of this and start making all kind of laws like they did after 9-11. To constrict us even further. For our own good and our own safety. It's a slippery slope. And we're the ones that are going to fall. Just be very mindful. Make sure you have medicine for a cold, anything for a cold or a flu. Zinc, um, talking to a friend the other day, she mentioned it. Vitamin C, vitamin D3, elderberry, um, those are, you know, your Tylenol, your ibuprofen, your um, NyQuil, your whatever. Anything to make you comfortable. If you do get sick. And it might not be the virus. It could be a cold. A really bad cold. It could be the flu. But you're not going to be able to run up to the hospital. And take up any beds. Or an emergency room bed. Or any of that. Those days are over. For a while. So. Keep that in mind. And who wants to be going up to a hospital anyway. If that's up there. I wouldn't want to take a chance. I'd make the assumption I have the flu and treat it as such and try and keep people away from me so that they don't get the flu and pray to God it's not the coronavirus. So, elderly first. They seem to be the main problems. Of course your autoimmune people, anybody with some sort of physical ailment that, you know, would make them weaker and more susceptible. <clears throat> but it's real. The virus is real. And the numbers that we're seeing are not accurate. That's true. That part is true. The rest of it is still a mystery. And we'll have to take it as it comes. And we'll never probably know about the origin of the past. And um, one last thing. I did mention to him the influenza of 1918, and, you know, we lost 675,000 people in the United States. And I said, according to the graph, it started in March of 1918, and it started rising. And then in the summer, like July, August, September, whatever, it went down. 
and then in no October, November, and December is when it exploded and most of the people died. I said, is that a possibility with this virus? He goes, of course it's a possibility. I said, well, it's a, he goes, it's a virus. I said, but well, maybe it's different enough. Maybe there are enough variables that make it different. He goes, we can hope, but yes, they are similar. So keep that in mind also. This might be a bigger long haul than what we think. <sighs> Let's hope I'm wrong. Hope there's something way different about them. And this one really dies off and stays off. Anyway. I hate to <laughs> bring you the truth. Sometimes I don't even want to tell my children the truth. I just want them to be children. I just want them to be children. I don't want them to worry about adult problems and adult things. Sometimes ignorance is bliss, but this time, people, we got to be adults. And we got to prepare. And take care of each other. But take care of yourself first so you can take care of others. And I will talk to you later. And I hope I didn't leave anything out this time. And if I did, I'll, I'll just make another video again instead of starting over. I will talk to y'all later. Good night.